photos you guys took show some interesting low brick walls. Mm. Are they part of the garden? So are they so. part, you know, or, or part of the road? I mean, Bob Croft saw the saw the footings. Mm. And he said that looks like a building. Is it a building or are they low garden walls? Yeah. Are they part of the late 17th century scheme? Yeah. They're obviously not part of the later landscape scheme. Yeah. Is there maybe an intermediate scheme uh, that we haven't we don't know about? No. Because no. it's not been represented either in paintings no, right. or any other. So if they're on site, we can get them to do that. That would be brilliant. Even yeah. if you do maybe just just a walk, just a metre strip. Yeah, two just, just where the trench was yeah. and maybe do five metres either side yeah. to get an idea of the potential really of that area and, and if it's worth doing maybe more. Yeah. yeah. Because of course we've lost the rest in that massive landscape thing right. with the rotunda bits, which is just phenomenal. So the rotunda now sits on, on a low ridge effectively, right. which is about ten metres high. Is that all just landscapes? Yeah, but they've increased the land height oh, right. by, by that amount. So before it was a little bit like those gardens you are talking about, so that side, yeah. part of it. And, um, and now it's just, yeah. But that's closed up, but they can easily be undone, you can have a torch in there. So the relationship of that mm -hmm. feature and that feature, um, especially if they had fountains in the in the Italian garden, well, indeed, gives you a reason why they increased the mound, because it's, it looks like it's to do with water, mm -hmm. to get the water on the mound. Store it, store it in fountains. That's just a theory. It's amazing how much we've forgotten and lost in terms of you know, how this place works, really. Yeah. In quite a short amount of time, in 300 years. And it also means that if that's the water pressure height, until they got the, or the reason they got the ramp pump in, they wouldn't have had water very high in this building at all. No. So. The reason that the ramp pump exists, I suppose, now no longer is defunct because they had water here. They could easily have water, but getting water, getting water to all of their estates from there, they used to feed cow cows. Whether they used the ramp pump pressure just to push the water through as high as they can at the, at the building, um, it's it's interesting. So that's what's underneath. The that's pyramid. like a that's like a so that's like a feeder tank. If it used to be. A, it used to it looks like it used to be a village dipping well when you look through the back of it because the, the pyramid is built around a stone shape with a, a nice okay. it's masonry um, rubble stone that covers the unknown as far as I'm concerned right. because it actually gets to we understand the void the central the central the central chamber from top front and then we will have an understanding of the the scale today's. We have a rough understanding right. of these yeah. parts of the building. But like I said to you in my short report, I haven't actually had a chance to look at any of this yet. No, so in no. fact, there is nothing stripped either, so no. we're just no. looking at post well, I want to end, The engineer needs to needs to get get with it relatively quickly as well, because the, I'm certain there's a relationship with the modern construction, with the, um, the strength of the top floor, and the way that the dividing walls have been put in as if the, 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 the top floor and the roof are behaving as a box beam. Okay. Um, so if it comes to removing walls, we need to make sure that what we're removing isn't actually in any way structural. controlling the weight yeah. that can go on the roof. That's okay. So, so like a big box beam. We, it's kicked about with a bit of fun. It could be a pomegranate tree. Plus uh, high apples, it could be it could be all of those things, mm -hmm. but definitely a greenhouse. So where you store your, to store your trees, you know. yeah. and uh, there's a large circular concrete base or plug at one end of the orange tree, which looks like the same kind of concrete that they used in the ceiling of the chamber below the rotunda. Um, it could be wartime. But what is it over a well? Is it then? Is it another water supply? What does it cover? You know, for the, is it the well? The water supply for the orange tree. In which case, it would need water pressure to actually get that up higher than the natural water. Little fountain in there. It could be. Yeah.